So now I'm here in Italy, Turin, getting ready for my presentation tomorrow, which is about how to use YouTube and WhatsApp to generate more leads in digital marketing and in B2B. But in this video, I wanted to quickly share and answer some questions about artificial intelligence and my book, which is coming out really soon. Basically, in the book, I'm uh, giving 100 uh, questions about artificial intelligence and, and also trying to give answers to those questions. Uh, it has been quite a lot of work. I've been working for the last three months, still missing, I would say, two chapters. I hope you will like it a lot. You will find it really soon on Amazon. So one of the reasons why I'm doing this book is that there's so many things that AI is affecting. So basically it will change many business processes here in the uh, screen, we can put like 10 different business processes that will be changed totally thanks to AI. And what happens in business is that most companies are unaware of how fast this is happening and are unaware of how big in impact this will have in their sector and the industry. So that's business processes, but then there's also industries. So here in this picture, you will see different uh, 10 different industries, which will also totally change thanks to AI. And um, what happens with this, that it will generate a lot of opportunities. Uh, it will also generate a lot of inequality, meaning, or imbalance, I would say. So meaning that there will be a lot of businesses, a lot of people who have no idea that this is happening because they are so busy working on their day-to-day -day things. And then there's other people who are who are kind of like following the trends and are pioneer, pioneers and they will have more opportunities than they have time to apply. So that's why, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this book. And in addition to business, um, AI will also change the society and it will change, uh, it will change you. Uh, it will change your life in many ways. Probably the most positive way will be healthcare and uh, everything related to health. So all of us will have like an AI doctor in the future. And in the negative side, there are <laughs> several things. One of, the them, one of them is that big companies, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and, uh, and Microsoft, and, and so on, all of their main goal right now is to work heavily with AI. And what that means is that uh, it will affect our life in many, many ways. And many times those companies, they, don't, they are a bit like low on ethics. So many of them think first that if, if uh, a new thing just generates money and people like it, then it's okay. And after that, they think if it's, if it's like ethical. So we have seen this in many times, for example, in the US elections. More, uh, first, Facebook was saying that, oh, there was, uh, they had nothing to do with the election results. And after that, they say, oh, maybe we had something to do and so on. And interestingly, in the election results, also AI was, was being used. And it will be used, I would say, in every election from now on. Uh, so that's also significant. So those are a few things that you will learn in, in this book. Uh, at the end, there are two chapters about 20 different uh, questions and answers about, uh, these are kind of like generic questions and answers about AI. One of them is if AI will generate like imbalances and, and that's maybe one of the like negative uh, things and one of the challenges we all need to work hard on because it will generate a lot of, uh, a lot of in, uh, imbalances. So uh, some companies that are already doing well in digitalization, like Finland, Sweden and many other Nordic countries, they will have a lot of opportunity. They will have a lot of economic growth, uh, whereas a lot of other company, uh, countries will have it difficult to understand the impact of AI. And also they will not be really prepared of the automation and things like robotization. And when uh, all of a sudden, I would say hundreds of thousands of people will need a new job, uh, in Finland, I hope uh, that they will be quite, let's say, more ready to adapt. And for example, Spain and Italy and many uh, Southern European countries that will have difficulties and so on. 
So yeah, that's one thing. But I would say in general, the idea of the book is just to share things that are happening in AI and that I have been reading and, and giving seminars and, um, and learning. And it's kind of like start a conversation about uh, how we can better prepare these things. And um, w one of the things obviously is uh, how we can use AI to automate many things. And then there's this question of, should we automate everything in our life? And obviously the answer is no, because we want to be more human. And um, however, we, we should automate things that are difficult and, and uh, things that are uh, not good suited for, for men to do, so to speak. And that's why robots and, and AI will help us to, to do a lot of that automation. Uh, the book also talks about basic universal income and in general about jobs. So jobs will be uh, a difficult thing in the future because so many people like their job. For example, when I came here to Torino, uh, the taxi driver really, I could see that I, he really likes his jobs. job. He's probably getting retired uh, really soon, but there's a lot of taxi drivers who really like that job and it will be uh, some of them will find new courses and, and will find new, new jobs. But others, when we have robot cars coming and robot buses and so on, uh, it will be difficult for them to accept it and they will be angry. Probably they will be blaming the government and so on. Although government many times do not have anything to do. It's just the technological advancements and so on. So uh, already in Finland, there's like robot bus driving actually uh, next to the university where I teach in Hagahelia, which is really interesting also. So uh, let me see what else I wanted to share. Um, those were some of the basic things. And in general, why I wanted to write about this or this book is that normally I see people, uh, there's a lot of fear mongering about AI. So what that means is that people think that it's all bad, like all things related to um, uh, things like uh, uh, Hollywood movies where everything is negative and everything is like AI is killing humans and, and so on and so forth. So obviously that's not the case. And then also um, many times, uh, yeah, people don't understand how fast it's coming and they don't understand how they could use it. So probably the easiest way to start understanding how AI could be used in your business, whatever you do, is to start learning about chatbots and how you could build a really simple chatbot that could automate some of your communication that you do with your customers. For big companies, that would, you can build an organizational chatbot uh, that could help your, your employees to find information about when is the next vacation and how many vacation days I have left and, and so on. That would be a huge saving. And for small entrepreneurs and middle-sized businesses, they could use uh, chatbots like on Facebook Messenger platform to better communicate with, uh, with their clients. Uh, last week I was in Holland and I was giving a talk about how Facebook will all the time automate more and more and more. And what they will do is that they will uh, use something, well, actually, they already have it, something called smart replies. Sorry about the noise here. Uh, smart replies. So what is smart, smart replies? It works on restaurants in the USA. And basically, the AI of Facebook is answering customer questions directly, which is really interesting if you think about it. So you don't have to open the Facebook app and answer one-to-one -to, -one to everybody. You don't even have to build a chatbot but uh, Facebook is, is doing the response. They get the information from your Facebook website. And these are generic questions, like when are you open, when are you closed, and what's in your menu items, and, and so on and so forth. Those are some of the things you will learn in this book. And uh, yeah, looking forward for your comments. Um, you can write on um, wherever you want. Uh, you can write on Amazon, for example, what did you think about this book? and how do you see it, and uh, what other things you would add, and what do you think about AI in general. And uh, I would say do not be, uh, do not
be uh, too afraid about AI, but at the same time, do not take it lightly. It will totally change most of the things you do in a daily basis. And if you understand early on what those changes will be, you will have competitive advantage in your business and, and in your life. Okay, thank you. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.